What's up YouTube? It's Kai. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you can't tell by the title of this video, today's video... <laughs> What's up YouTube? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a back to school supplies haul. I know it's July and this might be a little bit depressing for some of you guys. However, back to school supply shopping is one of the most pleasing things in the entire world. And on top of that, I did it at like 9 o'clock at night. So. I don't know. These are the first videos that I kind of started watching when I first got into YouTube or like back to school supply hauls. Even though I hated going to school, I just feel like these are two mutually exclusive things and we can enjoy them whether, whether, what? We can enjoy them whether or not we like going to school. So this is a back to school haul in July and you guys are going to enjoy it because there's also a giveaway and everybody likes free stuff. So without further ado, we're gonna get started. I'm gonna try to do that like um, yeah. So, I guess the most important item when you go back to school supply shopping is a backpack because, like, you could buy all the supplies in the world, but if you have nothing to carry them in, you know, what's the point? So, the backpack that I got for my first year in college is this Fjall Raven Konkin backpack. I used to have a red one. I actually still have it. I'm giving it away. But this is the one that I got. This color is kind of doing a lot for me, you know? Um, I think it's the opposite of who I am as a person. However, I really like the color and I bought it. So. Hello? I'm good. Can I call you back? I'm in the middle of filming right now. She's cleaned up her room where I'm washing right now. Anyways, yeah, I already decorated it with some pens. At the top right corner is a Chicago pen. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, that's my Chicago pen. I have a pen that says, you can't sit with us because I'm antisocial. And we have another pen that says, um, you tried because, you know, story of my life. Then we have a Sagittarius pen because I rely heavily on my sign next to my religion. And then we have I love Howard University pen because that's where I'm gonna be going. We have a louder than a bomb captain. I was a captain in my poetry team, so that's what that's for. There's a Hey Arnold pen. There's a Chicago Bulls pen, and then there's a pen that says Ill People because, yeah, it's not the biggest. But in college, like I don't really have classes like I do in high school, like back to back every single day. So I think it's gonna be fine. Um, yeah, stay tuned to the end and see how you can win. A Konkin. Okay, so we're gonna get into these school supplies. The major thing that I bought was a planner. I think planners are so key and essential to life. Even though I buy it and end up not using it, I feel like it's a good start to the school year. The planner that I got is called Day Designer. The strategic planner and daily agenda for living a well-designed life. It's from July to June of 2019. That's what it looks like. And it's a daily monthly planner. It's a daily monthly planner, meaning that I can write down everything that I have to do each day and then I also can see like a month's view of things. So 10 out of 10, highly recommend getting yourself a planner to use for the first month of school. The next thing that I got was a five, what? I just bought a huge notebook. Um, I thought it was a subject notebook, but I guess not. It has 220 pages and it's this blue five star notebook. When it comes to school supplies, I can be very um, bougie. So five star is really the only brand that I buy because, you know, nobody wants paper folders and paper notebooks. Those are just not smart because you want something to last you the whole school year. So I stick to five star. Please sponsor me. They're durable plastic pockets high quality paper and it resists ink bleed. I mean, what else could you possibly need from a notebook? And then I got the same thing but in red and I got blue and red because those are my school colors. Next thing that I got from Five Star was another notebook but it's a smaller one, only 130 pages and it is in a green color. Then I got a purple Five Star um, notebook in purple. Didn't I just say purple? Yeah. And then the last thing that I got that was like a major key essential from Five Star is this Flex Hybrid Note Binder. I really hate binders, so I think I thought this was the next best thing. It's in black, you know, color of my soul. And um, it acts like a notebook, works like a binder. So, you know, two in one. And I don't know what my teachers are going to recommend or require for me, so this will be good 
can come in handy, I'm pretty sure, at least once. Next, I bought some black Ticonderoga pencils. They look like this. And I, I don't know. The black was just kind of calling me, so I got them. Then I got some post-its with a bonus pad. They come in orange, pink, green, and blue. And that's what they look like. I really just use these for like, what are they called? Bookmarks. You can tell I don't read. I've got some scotch magic tape. Then I got some smudge free erasers by the brand Up and Up because my whole life is really a um, mistake. Then I got some Elmer's glue. I don't really know what I'm going to need glue for in college, but you know, got to be prepared. Um, it goes on purple and dries clear. I really don't know why you would buy any other glue if you actually decide to buy glue because who wants to see what the glue looks like, you know? We have some post-it flags. Also use these for bookmarks and just tabbing important things. These are a major key. And then I have this flexible um, ruler by Up and Up. Wasn't really a fan of the fact that it says flexible on it because obviously but you know in case anybody needs help in figuring out what kind of ruler it is because you're really that curious it's flexible. Then we got some scissors um, by Up and Up. They look like this. We have a black two hole pencil sharpener by the brand up and up because we were cheap when it came to everything else other than notebooks oh there's more five star i lied we have some um folders they're all pretty bland colors i'm sorry if you came to my channel and were looking for like you know unicorns on the folders or rainbows or you know ombre i really don't care that much it is school no matter how much i love school supplies so i stuck to the basics i got a gray blue and black folder and then lastly we have a sturdy d-ring binder with view pockets i feel like there's gonna be that one teacher that requires a binder so i got this just in case i didn't really care about getting a five star one because i hate binders anyway so you know i don't think five star would have made that any more enjoyable but yeah it's just a one inch and i hope i never have to use it ever okay we're getting down to the nitty gritty here we have some college ruled reinforced filler paper filler paper for my binder college ruled because we don't use wide ruled if you use wide ruled you're probably in kindergarten watching this video we have some letter index dividers once again for my binder and then we have the ugliest notebooks known to mankind composition notebooks i hate that these are a requirement in a lot of classes i hope that they're not when i get to college but yeah i hope i never have to use these i mean I don't, I don't see what's appealing about composition notebooks. I just, ugh. I have some utensils, writing utensils that is. The first thing that I got were these very basic jumbo refillable mechanical pencils. If you don't know what these are, you've probably been living under a rock for however long you've been living. And yeah, these are the ones that people used to steal from me in elementary school, but I'm not on that anymore and I will be keeping a close eye on these pencils. If you want to borrow one, I don't have one. You may see me writing with one, but I don't have a pencil, so. Then we have some Bic Bright Liners. These are just highlighters. I got them really cheap and there's like 12 in here, so yeah, they come in a bunch of different colors and I'll probably use those. I mean, I bought them. Now we have some whiteout to conceal more of the mistakes that I may make in my life. We have a stapler. Um, this is what it looks like. Then we have some cap erasers. These are very underrated. They are really cute and they are multi-purposeful, if that's a word. Not only are they cute, but they're erasers, so you're, you're doing both at the same time. Then we have some flares. Tropical Vacation. I was very excited to buy these even though they were about eight bucks. Um, they only usually last me about a couple months because I usually just like write down so hard on them that they just become really thick whenever I write and I don't want to use them anymore. But it's always good to start out the year with some flare markers. Then we have some red pens, some black pens, and some blue pens. I was very disappointed in Target this year because I like the RSVP by Pentel pens and I didn't have any. So 
I had to get some more black pens to make up for that loss. And I got these Bic Atlantis pens. I've never really used these before, so maybe they'll write nice. I hope so. But again, very disappointed in Target this year for not having RSVP pens. Then I got these. Ugh, they're sparkly. I didn't even know that. Bic Extra Sparkle Mechanical Pencils, just in case I end up accidentally giving away one of my nicer mechanical pencils or lose one of them or break one of them, one of the two. And yeah, there's 26 in here. I was gonna buy more lead, but then I realized a really important life hack. If you buy mechanical pencils and you need to buy lead, don't pay six or five dollars for lead. Literally get a pack of mechanical pencils which already have lead in them for like three or four dollars. And if you end up using them or not, it's up to you, but at least you spent less money on lead. And I think the last thing that we have in this haul are some markers. I don't think I'll ever really use these, but prepared always. So yeah, I think that's it. That's that's definitely it for this haul. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed looking at all of my supplies, even though it is July. I don't mean to depress you, but I don't know. I just find stationery very aesthetically pleasing and yeah. So, I'm pretty sure you guys really didn't care about the haul, but you were really trying to be nice to me and watch up until this point. You really only care about the giveaway. I mean, I would too. So, I'm going to be giving away another Fjall Raven Konkin. I really love these backpacks. You guys could sponsor me too. I'm giving it away because I'm basically at 70,000 subscribers right now, and that is kind of crazy. Um, I never really thought I would be one to attract 70,000 people to really, you know, keep tabs on me and just, you know, follow my life. But it's kind of crazy. And I just want to show how grateful I am for you guys' support and attention to this, whatever this is. Yeah, I'm not going to get too sentimental. It's not really me. But I just want to say thank you times a million for supporting me. And yeah. So... I don't have the Konkin with me because I was going to buy it, but I'm like, what if I buy it and like the person that wins doesn't want that color? So I'm going to hold out. I'm going to get in contact with the winner and ask them what color that they want, and we're just going to go from there. In order to win the giveaway, one, you must be subscribed. So make sure that in YouTube and your settings, you have it where people can see your subscriptions. Two, you must be following me on Instagram and Twitter so in the comments down below in order to win you need to comment your Instagram or Twitter handle and then if you only have Instagram or Twitter just put that too I'm not gonna make it too strict you know do I want followers yes but I also want the winner to have like a genuine love and support for this channel and be a true fan and not somebody that just clicked on the video even though I'm pretty sure people just clicked on this video for the giveaway you have to stay subscribed and stay a follower to my social media and then lastly in order to make sure you are a true not a fan I hate that word but just a true supporter and subscriber I want you guys to comment down below what was your favorite moment or blooper of me in one of my past videos and yeah that's really about it I'm uploading this in late July not quite sure when and I'm going to be ending this on August 5th because I do go away to college very early in August. And I want to make sure I get it out to you guys. So, with that being said, you know the rules. I have already forgot them. I'm just going to watch it over to remember. But yeah, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And then comment down below your favorite blooper or moment of me in one of my past videos. So yeah, my camera's going to cut off anytime now. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you in my next one.